Thank you, Dunka. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Well, it's uh, a very, very exciting time here at the Flamingos ahead of opening day. Uh, we have some new faces who I, for one, am excited to see in action. Uh, and I'm sure we're going to have a few questions. Um, so, yeah, Nico. Yes, uh, Nico Steiger, the Berliner. Now, the spring training was good. Is Das playoffs reachable? Yeah, look, I mean, spring training went better than expected, I think. Uh, but ultimately, those games mean nothing now. Uh, what we need to do is carry that form into the games that matter. Which players is you excited to see this season? Yeah, look, I mean, I'm excited to see all my players play. Uh, but I think we perhaps have two potential stars in uh, Benninghoff and in uh, Drew Campbell. So, you know, I may be extra excited to see them in action. You begin with the untouchables. Can you defeat them? Yeah, look, mate, I mean, it's never easy to start away from home against the defending champions. Um, but, you know, we beat them in spring training, so that gives us a little bit of confidence. And we go into this one hoping to lay down an early marker. Hi, guys, I'm Aussie Villa, and welcome to episode 9 of the Berlin Flamingos on the baseball journeyman and opening day of our second season at the club, where we hopefully begin to make our mark on the German baseball Bundesliga. We can see here on the Meet the Team screen, we have definitely improved uh, from last season. We have the best left fielder, according to OSA ratings, in the league. We have the second best starting pitcher in Benninghoff. Two of our new boys, of course, that are very, very exciting. Um... Tonus Pepe, who actually isn't going to start at shortstop, but he's rated fourth that's for his defensive capabilities. Uh, we've got our new second baseman rated fifth, so we're doing okay. And we know that uh, Kowali uh, is very, very capable at first base, and we're going to give another youngster a go at third base this season as well. Um, so it's all in all looking relatively good there. We don't have too much by way of prospects, but Benningdorf, Campbell, and Vince Chops Coletti are our, our three star players. A team chemistry update. Um, we can see here everything is relatively good. Um, we don't really have any leaders, which is not ideal, but, you know, we've got to worry about getting good players before we get uh, leaders. Everybody's relatively happy, which is good and important. Um, and, yeah, that's roughly where we stand coming in. Now, one thing that we don't have, uh, if we go and have a quick look here, is we still don't have a team trainer. There is nobody that wants the job. There's two people available, and they, well, as we saw last episode, um, they don't want to join. So there's there's nothing we can do. Uh, hopefully, we'll stay fit. Um, and eventually, we'll be able to sign a team trainer. If anybody has any idea of how we can get around that, or more all ears. But I just don't see how we can, uh, we can do that. Um, but yeah, there we go. That is that. Let's have a quick update of how spring training went. Because it went, it went well. So we can see here we went 5-1 and one through spring training, equal with the Paderborn Untouchables, who we are playing today, I should have mentioned, though you would have heard that in the press conference. Um, so that was really, really good. The preseason predictions, uh, if we have a look here, were actually predicted uh, to finish third. So just outside of the playoffs, two games back of the Bonn Capitals uh, for that wildcard spot. So... We're saying there's a chance. We're saying there's a chance. Uh, we're expected to go uh, 18 and 10, uh, according to the predictions, which would be nice. If we have a look at the top hitters, uh, we don't have anybody uh, in those, which is a little bit disappointing, but I think I think we'll do better than that. And the pitchers, we do have Benninghoff up there as um, a sort of fourth in the, in the ratings here with an ERA of 3.64. Uh, which, again, I think we'll just about take if that, uh, if that does come off for us. So... Yeah, it could be a good season for us. So let's have a quick look at uh, at some changes that we've made to the lineup. So we have a quick look at the players that aren't going to be a part of the team that were a part of the team last year. Uh, and Tiga has dropped out uh, basically because he's a foreign player and we can only have so many of those. So he drops into the reserves. Obviously, he's there if we need him. Um, other players too have dropped out. We have uh, got a, obviously a better catcher in now. So killing, Killen. Uh, has dropped down into into the reserve, so he's again available if we need him. Though hopefully that won't be a situation uh, that we would need. Tim Wagner has dropped out. He's a free agent at the end of this year, so we may not see him back. Um, yeah, he's just we've just got better players now. Other players to have dropped out. Nick Wagner. It's a Wagner free zone this year. He's dropped out as well, uh, and I'll show you why in just a second. He was solid for us last year without being outstanding. And perhaps the big one to drop out, uh, who's ridiculously harshly treated in my own personal opinion, I'm the one treating him harshly, is Denny Aldrich, who batted 357 for us last year. I just couldn't find a spot for him in the team. He's 32, so he's older and he's a free agent end of the year. So I'm trying to keep that not maybe as good, if not better, younger players 
uh, sort of happy for this season. So Aldrich is out of the team to start with. And like I say, that is very, very hard on someone who was very, very good for us last season. Um, but that is roughly where we are at. A quick look at how spring training did go so you can see. Uh, if you were on the Discord earlier today, you would have seen the Discord down in the, in the description. Uh, you would have seen this result. We beat the Paderborn Untouchables in the first game of spring training, which is absolutely incredible. So let's hope we continue that. We've got it done in the ninth as well with three runs. Uh, and it was Aldrich who, of course no longer with us, <laughs> he's the man that got the win for us, so as I said, ridiculously harsh that Aldridge isn't in the team, um, the only game we lost was to the Bond Capitals, but everybody else in our division there, you can see we won, which is excellent, and that brings us to opening day at the Paderborn Untouchables, let's go have a look at our lineup for today's game. All right, and here we go. This is our lineup for opening day against the Paderborn Untouchables. Leading off, we're going to stick with Roshek as a designated hitter. Uh, he's 37 now. His speed is slowing down a little bit, but he batted 395 for us last year, so we're going to keep faith with him. Batting number two is one of the new men. It's Drew Campbell. I'm really, really excited to see this guy in action. He is the reason that Aldrich is no longer in the starting lineup. Um, and yeah, really, really excited to see what he can do. Batting three is Byron Mills. We do have, of course, the new German catcher that we signed, if you saw last week's uh, episode, of, uh, sort of playing through the offseason, um, but we've got to keep faith with him. He was brilliant last year. Again, batted 395 um, and was a star. Uh, batting four, we're going to keep faith with Kowale. It's his last year on his contract, possible free agency. We At 36, we may... Uh, we may not look to keep him, but he, he did okay in the end last year, batting 286 after a horrible start and a good defensive player as well. So he bats, uh, he bats clean up for us. Batting five is one of the new guys, Peter Friedendorfer. Now, he, was, he actually was with us last year, but he didn't do too much. We ended up dropping in for Nick Wagner at third base, but he was really, really good in spring training. Um, so we're going to give him, uh, we're going to give him the start for this season and see how he goes. Number six, uh, batting six is, uh, Prade in right field. He was a good for us last year, batting 360 as well. Um, so again, he's still in the team at right field. Not the best defensive player, but we'll see how he goes. Uh, Van Mansell, uh, of course, won the Platinum Stick or whatever it's called, the Silver Slugger Award last year, batted 379 in center field. So he gets, uh, he gets the start there for this season. Batting number eight is one of the new boys. It's Leo Burra, a 20-year-old German that we got uh, in, or I think we traded for him. He did well last year, batted over 300 for his club, whoever that is. Um, so let's hope he gets the job done for us this season. And at shortstop is Nico uh, Kinapin. Um, he is, uh, yeah, he's getting the start this season. He's not the worst defensive shortstop. He's better with the bat than what uh, Pape is. So we're going to give him a chance and see if he can hit for us this season. If not, Pape will be back in as the better defensive player. And of course, it's Benningdorf, uh, Benninghoff, sorry, that gets the start on the mound for us. He looks to be a star. Uh, and today we're up against for them, Jacob Howe. Um, again, he looks a decent pitcher. His first game for the Untouchables as well. Um, so yeah, let's see who has the better American starter. And here we go in Paderborn for the first game of the season. It is, it is Roshek to lead us off. He's a free agent at the end of this year, as I think I mentioned, if I, if I didn't, he's a free agent at the end of this year. So it's probably his last season with us and we get the season underway with a walk. He is on board. Now we know he's a big stealing threat. It's Drew Campbell, his first at bat as a Flamengo and he has struck out. Excellent start, mate. Excellent start. Byron Mills Jr. now comes up. Let's see what he can do with Roshek at first. He gets it up the middle, does he? Yes, he does. Is Roshek going to stop at second? Is he going to get to third? He just keeps going. And with one out, we have runners at the corners in the top of the first against the Untouchables. And it's Jimmy Kowale to hopefully drive us into a lead here. One and two's the count, and Kowale just watches it. Just watches strike three go past. And that is frustrating. It's Friedendorfer now. Let's hope he keeps going with his preseason form. He has here down towards third base. Can he beat the throw? He can! It's an RBI single for Friedendorfer. In comes Roshek to score. We take the lead and it is Prade to hopefully drive in some more runs with runner at first and second. It's two on, two out and a strikeout to end it. But a decent first innings against the Untouchables. We're 1-0 up, and it's Benninghoff coming on now to see what he can do for us. Up against Marco Cardozo. 3 and ones the count, and Benninghoff loses his first batter as a Flamingos pitcher. It's this guy coming up to bat now. 1-1, one one, they're looking for the steal. Oh, Byron Mills Jr., take him away in cuffs, boys. The thief has been caught, and that is one away. 
Excellent stuff. Can Benninghoff get a strikeout now? One and two's the count. Of course he can. Benninghoff with a strikeout for two away. And it is Artenga. Sure. Now to the plate for the Paderborn Untouchables. One and one. He's popped it up. And we are leading the Untouchables after the first innings of the season. Excellent, excellent start. And here we go with Van Mincel to the plate. Let me know what you think in the comments, how you think we will do this season. Uh, he's got a decent piece of it, but straight to third base, and that is one away. Could we sneak into the playoffs? I mean, well, time will tell. Leo Burra comes up now. His first at bat as a Flamingo. Let's see what he can do. He has hit it. To, well, it's one to second base, always a second base, and that's two away. And it's going to bring up, of course, Kinnapin, who is the person I'm least confident about in the lineup. Uh, let's see what he can do. He strikes out, and that is the end of the top of the second. As Benninghoff comes back out to bat the face. Ian Post, who, of course, was the league MVP last season. Uh, that's a swinging bunt. Benninghoff off the mound. He does not have a play. Well, he has a play, but it's not it's not a successful one. And that is Post on board. A leadoff single. El Mackie to the plate for them now. 1-0 is the count. He has hit that into left field, and it's gone over. Drew Campbell's head. He's supposed to be a star out there for us. And is that going to tie us up? Yes, it is. We cannot stop the runner from scoring. And it's an RBI double for Almake. Runner at second with none out. And Benninghoff now with some work to do. That's how you do your work, mate. A strikeout of Lewin, I think that was. It brings up Aviado to the plate. Runner at second with one out. Oh, and two's the count. Benninghoff with another strikeout. Excellent stuff, mate. Excellent stuff. He has decent stamina as well, 60. So I'm hoping he's someone that will be able to go at nine innings if we need him to another strikeout. A little bit of a slow start to that innings, but he certainly came roaring back, didn't he? It's Roshak to lead off the third for us. He walked, of course, first time around. One and one's the count. What can he do? He's got a good piece of that down the left field line. It's hit the wall. Is that going to stop him from getting to second? No, it's not. A leadoff double for Roshek. Excellent stuff by him. That brings up Drew Campbell now. And let's see what our star man can do. Campbell hits it really well. Gets it down into right field. Is Roshek going to come in and score again? I know he stops at third. Runners at the corners with no one out for Mills Jr. Who is one for one today. Two and two's the count. Mills Jr. strikes out. That's one away for Kowole who struck out last time around. Two and two's the count this time. Jimmy Kowole, he has... Into a double play, has he run, Jimmy? And we can't regain our lead. Oh, that is frustrating, isn't it? It brings up Hansen to bat for them. To face Benninghoff. One and two's the count, and Benninghoff rings him up wonderfully well. That is five strikeouts through two and a third for our pitcher. Cardozo comes back up. He walked last time up. That is hit to third base. Friedendorfer cannot stop it from getting past. And that is a one-out single for the Untouchables leadoff man. It brings up Lee. One and two's the count. And it's another strikeout for Benninghoff. Oh, he looks decent, doesn't he? Very, very decent indeed. Eddie Atenga comes up to bat now. He's 0 for 1 today. First pitch swing. They're trying to steal. Mills Jr. cannot get him. And that is two-out runner at second now. You just have to strike him out, Benninghoff. Oh, and he does. And he does. Seven of the nine retirements have been a strikeout. Benninghoff looks a star. And Friedendorfer to get us underway. He is one for one. Of course, got the RBI last time around. What can he do this time? Two and two's the count. Friedendorfer strikes out. Brings Prade up, who is 0 for 1 today. One that knows the count on Julian Prade. What can he do? He has hit it. Oh, it's going to get caught in center field. For a second, then, I thought it might be going to drop in, but no such luck. And it's Van Mansell now who's 0 for 1 with two out, no one on. What can he do? 1 and 2 is the count, and he has grounded at the shortstop over to first, and that is the end of our top of the four. All right, let's see if Benninghoff can keep this going against Post, who, of course, got that infield hit last time up. First pitch swing, and he's hit him. That's what you get for getting an infield hit, you bastard. All right, that is... Is he out of the game? No, he can shake it off. That's a shame. All right, Benninghoff with a runner on to El Mackey, who, of course, got the RBI last time up. This time he's hit it. He's done the same trick twice down into left field. Campbell, this time, will prevent the run from scoring, but it's, again, a double. And these two are killing us, aren't they? 
It's uh, none out, runners at second and third. Lewin comes up, who is 0 for 1 today. Is he going to drive in a run here? It looks like he is. It'll be one away. The runner goes to third as well, but we fall behind in the bottom of the fourth. Benninghoff to Alvarado. We could really do with a strikeout here. It's another first pitch swing. It's... What's happened there? Okay, we're just having... The game's just having a bit of a moment. Uh, let's all wait with excitement as the shortstop chases the ball to the fence. The batter walks to first base. The throw comes over. Is he going to get him? This will be an outstanding play. Oh, he has got him. <laughs> that is some, a stunning throw. Let's just take a moment to appreciate that shortstop chased that ball back to the left field fence, threw it to first, but it couldn't even get there. That is outstanding. Unfortunately, a run has crossed the plate in that time as well. Benning off is... Oh, the animation on this game, it's the only thing that lets it down, honestly. They really, really do need to work on that, don't they? I'm sure it's a very, very expensive thing to do, but oh God, it'll make the game better. All right, Burra, 0 for 1 comes up. Full count on our leadoff man. Can we get ourselves back in this game? He walks. It brings the tying run to the plate in the face of Kinnapin. Come on, Nico. He's uh, 0 for 1 today. 2 and 2's the count, and he strikes out. The pro I mean, to be fair, he did just chase a ball to centre field and back to get the out. So he's probably a little bit tied. It's Roshak, who's one for one today with a walk as well. Two and one's the count. Roshak has looped it over, has he? Yes, he has. Gets it into the outfield. The runner stops at second, but runners at first and second with one out. And it's Drew Campbell, who's one for two today with a chance to, to uh, drive in some runs here. Two and two's the count, and he strikes out. And it's going to be Byron Mills Jr. now, who's one for two, hopefully, with a good hit on him here. Mills Jr., no, grounds at the second base, and that will do it. And we remain two runs down as we go to the bottom of the fifth. It's Benninghoff to continue to Hanson, who's 0 for 1 today. 1 and 2's the count, and that is another strikeout for Benninghoff, who looks a star, doesn't he? Eight strikeouts already. Cardozo, who's 1 for 1 with a walk as well. 2 and 2's the count. That's popped up. Should be caught there by Kinnapin. Or is it going to be the third baseman? It's Kinnapin. And that is two away. Good stuff. It's the second baseman for them coming up to bat. He's 0 for 2 today. 2 and 1's the count. He has hit that really well into left field. And if we can get that in nice and quickly, we can keep it to a single. All right. It's Atenga to the plate. He's 0 for 2. Can we end this inning before their two stars come up? No, we cannot. It's a bit of a two-out rally going here. The runner goes to third, and it's going to be Ian Post coming up to bat for them now, who is one for one today. I think he got hit last time up. We really, really need this out, though, don't we? Oh, and two's the count. Oh, he rings him up. Excellent. That's a massive, massive out. It keeps us in the game. Just the two runs down. Kowale to lead us off. He's 0 for 2. I think he struck out twice as well. Two and one's the count. What can Jimmy do? He's hit that towards first base, and that is going to be the first out of the top of the sixth. Friedendorfer comes up now. He's one for two today with that RBI, of course. One and one's the count. Friedendorfer, he's popped it up into right field, and that will be the second out of the innings, which means Prade comes up to bat. Two, no one out, no one on, sorry, two out. Three and one's the count, and he has got himself a base hit. Nicely done, Julian. It's Van Mensel now who will come to the plate. He's 0 for 2 today. To face a new pitcher in Marcus Harrison. Let's have a look at him. Solid, you'd say. Uh, a German with the name of Harrison. That's fair enough, I suppose. Um, it's the bullpen. This is where we've seen before that the likes of the Untouchables and Bond Capitals can sort of kick on. And we, we struggle a little bit. Um, and unfortunately, that's going to end the innings. We go to the bottom of the sticks, still down by two, but the fact that we're in a game with the Untouchables is probably a really good sign. Two and two on the leadoff man, El Mackie. He is two for two today, and make that three for three as he continues to get the better of uh, Benninghoff. It's Lewin to the plate, who is 0 for two today. One and two's the count, and another strikeout for Benninghoff. Ten now for the match. Alvarado comes up to bat. He's 0 for two today. Two and two's the count. And it's another strikeout for Benninghoff. 11. Berg, uh, Bergman to the plate, who's 0 for 2. Full count. And he strikes out as well. Benninghoff is, I'm going to call it, he's a star. He's a future Hall of Famer if this keeps up, isn't he? What a performance it's been. Burra comes up. He's 0 for 1 today. To face Harrison. 
he has hit that really, really well. And Leo Burra in his first game for the Flamengos. Is that going to be a double? Can he get himself to third? He is stopping at second. He stands up with a leadoff double. Excellent, excellent stuff. Now, unfortunately for us, Kinnapin is next. Can he do a productive out here? He's 0 for 2 today. 2 and 2 is the count. Kinnapin, he's popped it up into right field. I don't know if it's deep enough to get Burra to third. In fact, it's almost certainly not since he's standing... <laughs> Halfway between the two and not going back to tag up. Roshek now, who's two for two. We could really use another base hit here from your mate. No, he strikes out. And it's up to Drew Campbell now. One for three. Full count, two out. Runner at second. We could really use with this run coming across the plate. And he watches strike three. And we stretch. Still two runs down. Hansen to lead off for them. He's 0 for 2 today. 1 and 2's the count. Can Benninghoff do another one? Of course he can. 13 strikeouts. What a debut from Benninghoff. He's only just hit the 100 mark as well. Cardozo, who is 1 for 2 today. 0 and 2's the count on Cardozo, and he strikes out. What's the record? There we go. Benninghoff ties a Flamingo's regular season record with 14 strikeouts. One more, and he is going to set a record on Dabu. Is this the moment? No, it's not. It's been popped up. It should be caught out there by Van Mansell in centre field. It is, and that'll do it for the seventh. We are still right in this game. We're equal on hits. It's uh, another pitching change for them. Jesus Christ, they just have so many good pitchers, don't they? It's going to be Mills Jr. now. One for three today. Now, the one positive we might be able to see from this, obviously we play two games in a day. Uh, reminder, if, you, if, you, uh, if you're new to the series. Um... Now, if they're going through their sort of star bullpen in game one here, if Benninghoff can go the distance for us, that's going to help us in game two, obviously. We will have a fresh bullpen. They will not. And it's a strikeout of the sides there as we had two full counts, I think, there. In the end, there wasn't an end up uh, with, in strikeouts. Artega comes up to lead off for them. He is one for three today. Of course, Benninghoff needs one more to break the club record, and he still can't manage to do it. It's a leadoff single, and is that going to do it for him? No, he's still there to face post, who has one for two. Three and one is the count. He lays down a bunt. We should get the out at first. We do. One away, but the runner does go to second. Is that going to do it? He's not going to tie the record. Surely he's got to break it. It's Almeke, who's three for three and absolutely killed him so far today. First pitch swing. That's been popped up. Van Mensel's there. Hopefully the runner will stay at second. Can he do it? It's a good throw in. He's done well there. Two away. And that'll do it. He does end up just tying the record. Oh, that is unlucky. It's Edgar Martinez who comes in for us. Now, he was a untouchable last season. And he did really well for him. We picked him up in a trade over the offseason. Um, and against his former club here now, he's got a big job to try and keep us in this. A full count on his first man. And he strikes him out to end the innings. We go to the ninth, two runs down against the Untouchables. The fact we're in this game, I think, is very, very positive. It's Prade to lead us off, and then it's the wrong part of the order, really, isn't it? What can Prade do? One and two to the count, and he strikes out. We really need that run aboard, don't we, to get the tying run to the plate. Van Mensel, who's 0 for 3 and not had a great time of things today. Full count on him, and he strikes out. And we're down to our final out. It's Leo Burra, who, of course, hit a double last time up. Two and two's the count. What can Leo do? He strikes out, and that'll do it. We lose opening day to the Untouchables. 3-1. But I think there's a lot of positives from that performance. I think a star may have been born in Tyler Benninghoff. Obviously, it's just one game, but a very, very promising start. You remember what happened, of course, to Chops Coletti last season. Uh, he got absolutely ripped to pieces opening day, didn't he? So the contrast there is huge. Uh, Benningdorf, Hoff, Benninghoff looks an absolute star. Let's hope that continues. Uh, and I said, an unfortunate start, but against the Untouchables, maybe not completely unexpected. Uh, we were in the game, and I think that is... Well, that's huge, isn't it? The fact we were in a game with them for nine innings is massive. Uh, but there we go. That'll do it for today, though, guys. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And I think what we might do is come back for the game against the Bond Capitals. Uh, end of the month, that will be a good opportunity to see where we stand against the other playoff team. We'll get a couple of series underway here as well in the meantime. And yeah, let's see how we do in that one. Until then, guys, I've been Aussie Villain. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. A link in the Discord if you want to go and join that as well, doing all the post-game discussions. And I'll see you next time. Take care.